G'day everyone, welcome to the tutorial for how to make gravy by Paul Kelly. Uh, I did a pretty mediocre cover of this song like two years ago probably, so um, I do know how to play it and I've been playing it for a while. I think it's a fantastic song um, and I love all the work that Paul Kelly does. He's such an amazing artist coming from Australia, so pretty keen to get this one underway. Um, this one was requested only like two days ago or something. I have got heaps on the way, I haven't forgot all those Ziggy ones and he put that new song out as well so I'm going to get around to that too. But for now I've got some work to do and we'll just jump into this tutorial. So basically the whole song revolves around one rotation of chords. So those chords are an E, E major, first finger first fret of the G string, third finger on the second fret of the D, second finger, second fret of the A. All strings played open. The next chord is a F sharp minor variation. So what we've got is... So first finger, second fret of the G, pinky on the fourth fret of the D, third finger, fourth fret of the A. Then with our thumb, we mute the top string. Then we take this shape, slide it, slide it from fret two and four up to four and six for a G sharp minor variation. We slide it back to F sharp minor, back to E. So that's the first little part of it. It comes in two sort of parts for the song. That was the first part. Um, the strumming pattern for that. strumming pattern. Um, first part done. Second part. So in the verses, that first progression is played twice. Then when we go from G sharp minor back to F sharp minor on the second time round, it goes. If I get good behavior, Out of here by July. Then back to normal chords. <clears throat> so what we've got there, that is an A major variation without the root. So what we've got is sixth fret of the G and then seventh fret on the A and D with the top string muted. Then we slide back to G sharp minor. Then back to A major variation. Then we slide that up to a B variation. Which happens to be eight on the G string, nine on the A and D. Then back to the sub. Same picking pattern for that second variation as well. There'd be numerous uh, chord lists out there for this, so if I find one, I'll attach it in the description below for you guys to follow along with. Besides that, I'm pretty sure that's all that the song utilizes. I don't think I'm missing anything. But the main bones of the song revolves around the E, F sharp major, or minor, G sharp minor, F sharp minor, repeat. That's the bones of the song. So I'll just play that again through slowly.
So that's it for this tutorial, guys. Um, I just want to say thank you to everyone who's been watching, if they're still watching. Um, really grateful for all the support that this channel's been getting lately, and I haven't been keeping my end of the bargain very recently because I've just had a lot going on, but I've been not laid off work, but less hours at work, so now I've got far more time to uh, put towards these videos, and finally we'll get around to setting up a uh, little online lesson sort of thing because, you know, need income. So if you guys are happy to uh, listen to me play guitar and teach you guys some things, then hopefully we can organize a little deal and we can get that underway. But yeah, cheers for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. Um, I'll see you around.